welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my best in beauty of 2015 for you guys. I am going to be splitting this video up into three parts. Today I'm going to be doing the face component and then in a few days I'm going to upload my eyes component and then a few days after that I'll upload the lips component. So the three primers that I've loved to kind of fill in my pores this year have been the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. This is a really, really nice just pore filling cream. It's really, really nice. Another one that does a similar job is the Anoxa Pore Vanishing Cream. Very similar, however, you get quite a lot less product. You only get 10 mil in this. I think if you worked out buying this three times to buying this once, this works out to be cheaper. Just saying. And then also one that I've loved is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Cream. This one you have 15 mil and it's really, really nice and it's very similar to the Smashbox one also. Okay, so to create a luminosity to the skin, I have loved one primer. This one is the Clarins Instant Light Radiance Boosting Complexion Base. I have mine in the shade Rose, and Rose is the one that I've been using the most this year. I also do own Champagne as well, but I feel like I don't like this one as much as I like Rose. Rose definitely gives me a lot more of a luminous base than Champagne does. I don't know why, but I'm going to stick to that. <laughs> And then to hydrate the skin, I have adored the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This is just a super, super hydrating primer that I love to apply to my skin. I love to apply it and then let it sink in for a minute or two and then go over the top with a little bit of my instant light. And then in wet areas where I have pores, I use a pore cream. So this one is all around just amazing if you just want to give your skin a little bit of an extra hydration boost. I do want to also say that I don't have the driest skin in the world. I do have quite normal combination skin and I still find this works for me amazingly. I am actually almost all out of this. Like, can you see how flat my package is? I'll probably need to get a new one soon. The next category that I'd like to talk about is liquid illuminators. I've loved two. So the first one is the NARS Coco Cabana Liquid Illuminator. This stuff is divine. I love it so much. It's my constant, constant favorite and I will forever repurchase it. This is amazing. And then this one I love for different reasons. This one I love to mix in with my foundation if I want to give my skin a bit more luminosity. So this one is the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights face illuminator in the shade Bare Light. This one, it's not as intensely shimmery. Shimmery is not even a right, the right word for it, but it's not as intense as the NARS one. This one's a little bit more subtle and that's why I like mixing it in with foundations. It's also that beigey tone, so it doesn't alter the color of your foundation all that much. It just adds a beautiful amount of radiance to the foundation. At least that's what I use it for. Okay, so the next category is foundation. Now I did include a top five favorite foundations video not too long ago on my channel, so I will link that down below. Those foundations are still some of my favorites. It's just that when I look back on the year, these are the foundations that I have used the most and loved the most. So yeah. So the first one without saying is the EX1 Invisiwear Foundation. This one I've literally used all up. I do have about five more in my house, so not to worry, but I've definitely loved that foundation so much this year. Another one that I've loved is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I did include a how to get a flawless face or something like that using this foundation. It's absolutely divine. I love it so much. And I put the MAC pump on mine just so I don't need to pour it out onto my hand and then it's unsanitary and stuff. So if you do own Estee Lauder Double Wear, definitely consider getting a MAC pump to put on the top. Another one that I love, and this one's actually from the drugstore, this is the Bourjois Happy Lights Foundation. I've had this for about a year now in my collection and I absolutely love it so much. The L'Oreal Magic Lumi, this is an absolutely gorgeous foundation. So I've also loved the Clarins Everlasting Foundation. I will be filming a review video of this very, very soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And then lucky last is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It looks amazing in photos. It lasts amazingly and it's just an amazing all around foundation. I want to buy like five more shades, but that would be like $500. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to concealer, I did actually forget to get one of them, and it's actually the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. You've seen me use that concealer in so many of my videos, um, so I do want to quickly say that that is one of my favorites. I just forgot to 
pick it out when I was collecting all these products because it's in my everyday bag instead of like my actual collection. Anyway, so a concealer that's very, very similar to the Maybelline but a lot more expensive is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I do have three shades, Chantilly, Vanilla and Custard. I've actually used two vanilla shades this year. That's how much I love that concealer. Another concealer that I absolutely adore is the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancers. I have mine in the shade SX06 and SX03. SX06 is what I'm using today underneath my eyes. This is the most pigmented concealer that you will ever, ever come across in your entire life. I'm not even kidding you. If you want the real deal concealer, you need to give Kevin Aquan a try. Seriously, I don't think you're going to use up this whole pot in like four years. I'm not even kidding you. So this year I did discover correctors. Um, my favourite corrector this year is definitely the Bobbi Brown corrector in the shade Peach. I have hit pan on it majorly. Um, don't mind how crummy it looks. I kind of pick at it with the end of an applicator and then apply it to my eyes. But that is an amazing corrector if you're in the market. And then a concealer palette that I've been obsessed with is actually the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette in the shade Medium. I love this so much. It's just so versatile. If I'm going traveling and I need a palette for base, this is definitely one that I always pack regardless, just because I can mix and match depending on how dark I am, and then I can use it to cream contour. There's just so many things that I can do with this one palette. It's really good. For blush, I have two standouts for the year. I'm not the biggest blush person in the world, so for the fact that I have two, that is a pretty big deal for me. Um, anyway, so my first favorite is MAC Warm Soul. This is an absolutely gorgeous, like bronzy, pinkish blush. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this one so much, and it's a part of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish range, so it's not completely matte, but it definitely isn't overly shimmery either. And then the other favorite blush that I've been loving is actually Tarte blush in the shade Exposed. This is a lot more matte than Warm Soul and it's definitely a lot more pink but it's still not too bright and over the top. Definitely love that one as well. For face powders I do have a few. So the first one is actually the Bourjois Healthy Mix Press Powder. This is what the packaging looks like here and then this is my brand new one and then I'll show you guys my old one. Like, seriously, this is my favorite powder of all time to set my makeup. I only bought this in like March, and for the fact that I've hit major pan and gone out and bought a new one, like that says a lot to me. Another powder that I love to touch up on the go or use as a powder foundation, I actually made a video about this, is the MAC Studio Fix Press Powder. It's super, super pigmented, and it's just a really, really nice foundation powder. For translucent powders, I've loved the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. It's just an amazing everyday setting powder if you don't want to add any extra coverage to your face. And then to set underneath my eyes my concealer, I have been obsessed with the MAC Emphasize Pro Powder. Can you see how much pan I've hit? Like, this is insane. <laughs> Next category is bronzers and contour shades. So the first thing that I want to mention is a palette. This is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the light one, and I seriously love this palette so much. This palette I will always take with me if I'm going traveling or if I'm just going anywhere because I can always customize my shade no matter what. I love this palette so much. I love the lighter shades, but I particularly love the darker shades, especially the middle one here. Another bronzer that I've loved this year is the Shiseido Bronzer in the shade Medium Number no. 2. This is what it looks like on the inside and it's just the most gorgeous, natural bronze ever. I love it so much and I feel like this does not get enough hype on the internet YouTube beauty world. So the next one that I want to show you guys is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Bronzer. This is what the packaging looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. So pretty. And then this is what the color on the inside looks like. I have mine in the lighter shade, which is 01, and it's just an amazing bronzer. This is definitely not a light bronzer by any means. You'd still need to be you'd still need to have a bit of color to your skin to make this not look muddy on you. For cream bronzer, I have been obsessed with my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I've loved this for many years now and just the smell, the color, how it applies, I love it all so much. This is probably one of my favorite contour shades of the year in a single compact. This is the Cover Effects Bronzer in the shade Suntan. This isn't too brown and it's not too red and not too gray, it's just a perfect in-between that creates the perfect shadow shade for your cheeks. 
Lucky Last is the MAC Care Blend Press Powder in the shade Dark. This I purchased off recommendations of Jaclyn Hill and it is as amazing as what, as what she makes it out to be. It's an amazing color and it just it adds the most beautiful warmth to the skin. So highlighters. I feel like strobing was such a big thing in 2015. So of course I've got a few highlighters to show you guys. The first one being the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. I do think that I like this one better than Champagne Pop and also more than Opal. I feel like this one's just the perfect shade and it gives just such an intense highlight and that's just what I love. So I've actually got two highlighters from MAC to show you guys. This one here is Light Scapade. This one's absolutely gorgeous. Mine's in a limited edition quilt packaging, but this is a permanent item. And then this one here is Soft and Gentle. I've loved Light Scapade for a few years now, and Soft and Gentle I've only really just started to love, but I do love both of these so much. They are gorgeous, gorgeous highlights. This one, it really depends on your skin tone as to if this would be a blush or a highlight on you. But this is the Maybelline by Face Studio Highlight Blushing Bronzer or Highlighting Bronzer thing in the shade Light Bronze. This is what it looks like here and just when you swirl all the colors together, it just gives your skin the most beautiful like highlighty tone. I love it so much. Probably my favorite drugstore highlight ever. From Cover FX, they do make an amazing highlighter. This one is in the shade Moonlight and it is so incredibly gorgeous. It's a bit more intense than the Maybelline and it's a bit more like silvery, intensey, more. <laughs> I made no sense then, but you know what I mean. And then Lucky Last is Setting Spray. It has to go to the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I've loved this for years and it's Seriously, I haven't found a replacement for it. I love it so much. I just use the original one and it's amazing. Okay guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the products that I've loved for the face for 2015. Definitely comment down below what you loved for 2015 as well. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. It would help me out so much. You guys have no idea. I hope you're having a very wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.